so this video we're going to be doing some mass calculations for chemical reactions. Basically what we need to do is look at a chemical reaction first and so we're going to use an example of water being made from hydrogen and oxygen. And these are both two gases and it's pretty much a one-way street and in order for this to balance you always need twice as much hydrogen gas as you do um, oxygen gas. Okay, now that's so that we won't have any leftovers. Uh, for later videos we'll be actually talking about um, uh, circumstances where it would not be actually run in a two to one ratio. Okay, now remember that these are number quantities, not weight quantities. And so what we have to do is we have to convert a number quantity to a weight, uh, sorry, a weight to a number, and then one number to another number, and then finally back to the weight we want. So for example, uh, the problem we're going to look at is going to be um, how many grams, our weight quantity, of oxygen are needed to make a certain gram quantity of something else. Okay, and that will be 13.1 grams of water. Okay, so this is a combination reaction, so we know that um, if we have 13.1 grams on this side, the total of everybody over here has got to be 13.1 grams. So we already have a range that uh, the amount of oxygen has to be less than 13.1 grams. So we'll just check that when we get done. Okay, so the general procedure is if you have grams of molecule A, you convert that to moles of molecule or substance A, and the molar mass does this conversion, okay? And then moles of one substance goes to moles of another substance, substance B, the mole-to-mole -mole conversion is done with these number ratios. And then finally, we convert back to grams of B using the molar mass of B. And so for the arrow, I'm just going to put in the conversion factor. Okay, so when we use this conversion factor, grams of A is going to cancel. We'll get moles of A. This is the molar mass of A. So to work this problem, we actually need to know that we need the molar mass of water. Okay, so this will be water because grams of water is what we actually know. We don't know grams of oxygen. That's what we're trying to get to. So A is water, B is oxygen molecules. For the second step, we're going to convert moles of A to moles of B, and that's going to use the balanced chemical reaction has to be balanced, otherwise the number ratio won't be right and, and uh, we'll get the wrong answer. So we need, in the denominator of the conversion factor, will be moles of A, and in the numerator we'll put moles of B. And that'll convert moles of A to moles of B. And then finally, the molar mass will convert uh, moles of B to grams of B. We want... Uh, I may leave this in. We want moles of B in the denominator here and grams of B in the numerator. This is the molar mass of B. All right, so let's just work our example. 13.1 grams of water. Multiply that by the molar mass with the grams in the denominator. One mole of water is 18.02 grams of water. Grams of water cancels. Now we have moles of water. Now we use the balanced chemical equation. Two moles of water is equivalent to one mole of O2. 
Okay, one mole, two moles. And now finally, the molar mass of molecular oxygen, one mole of diatomic oxygen is 32.0 grams of oxygen. Okay, so it's very important that you don't try to account for, you know, the twos and the ones uh, except within the conversion factor. So, for example, don't try to account for the fact that diatomic oxygen has two 16 gram per mole atoms in it. Now, just take whatever form the oxygen's in, which is O2, and calculate its molar mass and use that as the conversion factor. Let the um, balanced chemical reaction tell you pretty much that, yeah, you get one mole of O2, but there's two moles of O atoms which one goes into each water molecule. All right, and so the final answer will be grams of oxygen. Okay, and let's look and see what that number actually is. So 13.1 divided by 18.02 divided by 2 times 32, 11.6. grams of oxygen. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, water is mostly oxygen as far as the mass goes, and so if you have 13.1 grams of water, it's mostly a weight of oxygen, and that's 11.6 grams. All right, that does it for doing uh, mass calculations and reactions.